Almost everyone you know lives in a fear of money in one way or another. Like think about it, everyone including you worry about making enough money, saving enough money or having enough money to take care of immediate or future needs. There is just always one concern or the other about money locking around the corner. Now in this video, I will be showing you how to take control of your finances, build a secure future and the exact things I did that took me from earning the barest minimum to building a multiple six figure career and business. I also have one tip to help you become financially savvy in no time. Hey guys, my name is Tolu Dr. Michael. I'm a cyber security expert of close to a decade. So that brings me to the topic of today, personal finance. Whether you're just starting your career or you're already earning a six-figure income, managing your personal finances is essential. Unfortunately, not everyone knows how to handle their finance but first let's talk about why personal finance is so important i was reading an article some time ago and came across a report that said only 39 percent of americans could cover a thousand dollar emergency with savings and i'm like what in case you don't get what that means what it means is that if an unexpected financial emergency such as a medical bill car repair or home maintenance issue that is worth a thousand dollars were to arise more than half of americans that's 61 percent would not have the savings to handle it and i think that's a wake-up call for many of us to get our finances in order i've had numerous conversations with people of all classes and i think one major trail i have seen with people who are doing well financially is that they know where their money is going to and the fact is you don't need to have all the money in the world before you start paying attention to what happens to your resources. See, I'm a firm believer that we are stewards of whatever we have. As a Christian, and just as the Bible teaches, if you are faithful in little, you will be faithful when you have more. At the same time, when you mismanage the funds you have right now, you will mismanage your resources when you start earning more. It's definitely not an easy task, especially when you're just getting started. But you will get better at it over time. Now, to help you get started, I have five principles I have used over the years and I can tell you they work like magic. A little disclaimer though, I am in no way a financial advisor. So everything I share with you here is solely based on my personal experience. That being said, let's start with key principle number one, budgeting. See, budgeting is the cornerstone of effective financial management. And I'm not just about keeping an eye on your spending. It's about creating a roadmap for your money that aligns with your life goals and priorities. By tracking every dollar that you're earning and that you're spending, you gain control over your finances. And this makes it easier to live within your means and avoid unnecessary debt. One popular method that has worked really well for me is the 50 30 20 rule and here is how it works 50 percent for needs this include essentials like rent or mortgage utilities groceries transportations and healthcare these are the non-negotiable expenses that you need to survive and then 30 percent for wants this category covers non-essential expenses that enhances your lifestyle okay think of things like dining out entertainment hobbies and vacations and i think this is where a lot of us drop the ball we either want to spend all our money on enjoyment because we've worked hard to earn it or we entirely ignore taking care of things that improve our lives outside of food shelter and everyday bills i think it's important to enjoy your money trust me it's very important but in a balanced way that doesn't jeopardize your financial stability you see the trick is don't overindulge and don't ignore the things that bring you joy entirely then lastly 20 percent for savings and debt repayment this portion goes toward building an emergency fund saving for future goals like retirement or a home and then paying for any outstanding debts that i have prioritizing this category helps you build a secure financial future and i can tell you this from my personal experience see to make budgeting easier consider using budgeting tools like mint or ynab you know you need a budget okay these apps are designed to simplify the process allowing you to number one 
categorize expenses by easily tracking where your money is going from dining out to utility bills number two things they do is set financial goals whether you're saving for a vacation paying off debt or building an emergency fund these tools help you set and track your progress towards your financial goals number three thing they do for you is to monitor your progress get real-time updates on your spending and saving habits and this helps you make informed financial decisions from my findings people who use budgeting apps are significantly more likely to stick to their budget and save more money because because these tools they help provide visual insights and reminders making it very very easy to stay disciplined and then adjust your spending as needed and trust me i'm all for leveraging technology because i know that technology can help you transform budgeting from being a tedious task into a manageable and even rewarding activity now to keep principle number two saving and investing saving money is the bedrock of financial stability but simply stashing it away in a savings account isn't enough this is because with inflation averaging around two to three percent annually the purchasing power of your money diminishes over time if it is not growing this is where investing becomes essential but how do you get started start by building an emergency fund then aim to save three to six percent worth of living expenses these funds act as a financial safety net and they protect you from unexpected expenses like medical bills car repairs or sudden job loss it also provides peace of mind knowing that you can handle emergencies without going into debt once your emergency fund is in place then it is time to make your money work for you through investing one of the most effective ways to grow your wealth over time is by investing in low cost index funds or etfs okay exchange traded funds these investments are designed to track the performance of a market index such as like the s p 500 which represent the 500 largest companies in the us according to a study by vanguard these types of investments have historically provided an average annual returns of about seven percent to make this a little more understandable let's use the power of compounding interest if you invest a thousand dollars today and earn an average annual return of seven percent in 10 years your investment will grow to almost two thousand dollars over 30 years it will grow to almost more than seven thousand six hundred dollars this exponential growth demonstrates why investing is crucial for a long-time financial health if you're new to investing user-friendly apps like robinhood or acorns can be a great starting point robinhood offers commission-free trading and easy to use interface and they make it accessible for beginners acorns on the other hand rounds up everyday purchases to the nearest dollar and then invest the spare change do you know helping you start investing with minimal effort and money now imagine this scenario imagine this you are a recent college graduate starting your first job you set up an emergency fund to cover six months of expenses then you start investing a small portion of your paycheck into a low-cost index fund through robin hood each month you watch your investment grow and over the years you see your wealth compound by this time you're ready to buy a home or retire you have a substantial nest egg thanks to your early and consistent investing habits as easy as that sound you have your work cut out for you but the most important thing is to stay consistent because it will pay off in the end on to the key principle number three managing debt i know if a lot of us could avoid this one we would because debt can be a significant financial burden if not handled properly impacting your ability to save and then invest the way you always want to according to federal reserve the average american carries around ninety thousand dollars in debt which include mortgages student loans and credit card balances to effectively manage debt i have three ways you should look into number one prioritize high interest debt focus on paying off high interest debt first such as credit card debt okay from report the average credit card interest rate hovers around 16 percent which can quickly lead to substantial interest charges if not managed for example if you owe five thousand dollars on a credit card at 16 percent interest and only make the minimum payment it could take over 15 years to pay off and cost you nearly four thousand dollars in interest alone by settling this high interest debt first you can save a significant amount of money over time the second method is known as the debt 
snowball method okay this involves paying off your smallest debt first to build momentum you start by listing all your debt from smallest to largest regardless of interest rates and then you pay the minimum on all debt except the smallest to which you devote extra fund once one of the smallest debt is paid off you want to move on to the next smallest and so on and so on like that see this method provide a psychological boost as eliminating smaller debt quickly can motivate you to continue to begin to pay all your debts and so on and so on like that now just imagine the satisfaction you get from seeing those debt disappear one after the other right it will definitely create a sense of accomplishment and progress for you and number three refinance loans okay, if you have a student loan or mortgage consider refinancing so that you can secure a lower interest rate refinancing can reduce your monthly payment and the total amount of interest that you pay over the life of the loan for instance if you have a mortgage with 4.5 percent interest rate and you refinance it to 3.5 interest rate you could save tens of thousands of dollars over 30 year term similarly refinancing student loans can lower your monthly payment and make them more manageable freeing up money for other financial goals now here's the thing using these strategies can help reduce debt faster and free up money for savings and investments now let's talk about key principles number four planning for retirement you see for many immigrants myself inclusive planning for retirement is not something we are very familiar with back home we hear of pension and gratuity but for the most part the elderly people we know didn't have a stash of funds that will take care of them for the rest of their years they didn't have it most of them either had to rely on their children to take care of them or they start a small business that they can oversee at home but a lot of us are learning a better way to do things and the bottom line is it is never too early to start saving for retirement even for you as an immigrant amazingly the u.s department of labor they reports that 56 percent of americans have calculated how much they need to save for retirement the great news for you however is that the better the job you get become the better the opportunities you will have to plan for retirement so here is how i think you can get that started on the right foot let's look at 401k plan if your employer offers a 401k plan please take a full advantage of it especially if they offer matching contributions this is essentially free money for instance if your employer matches 50 percent of your contributions up to six percent of your salary and you earn fifty thousand dollars a year contributing six percent which is three thousand dollars means that your employer will add another one thousand five hundred dollars over time this match continue with compounding interest that can significantly boost your retirement savings the second thing to get familiar with is the individual retirement account you want to open a traditional or roth ira to benefit from tax advantages in 2024 you can contribute up to five thousand dollars annually or even seven thousand dollars annually if you are over the age of 50. traditional iras they allow you to deduct contributions from your taxable income while roth iras offer tax-free withdrawals in retirement it is important you know your current and expected future tax bracket so that you can choose the best option for you for instance if you are in a lower tax bracket and you expect to be in a higher one at retirement a roth ira might be more beneficial and thirdly diversify your portfolio this simply means that don't put all your eggs in one basket diversifying your investment helps to mitigate risk and then maximize returns this means that it pays to spread your money across different asset classes such as stocks bonds and real estate as well as different sectors and ge geographical regions now what this does is that it helps protect your portfolio from market volatility for example if the stock market has a bad year your bonds or real estate investment might still perform well balancing out your overall returns that is what i want you to really take away from this planning for retirement ensures financial security in your later years allowing you to enjoy life without financial stress and i think that is what makes all the hard work of your younger years worth it trust me on that imagine retiring at 65 with a sufficient fund which in turn allow you to travel pursue uh, hobbies or simply relax 
without worrying about money. Now, by starting early and making consistent contributions, even small amounts can grow significantly over time due to the power of compound interest. For example, if you start saving, say, $200 a month at age 25, with an additional average return of 7%, you could have over $500,000 by the time you retired at 65. Let's even say that you are in your early 30s and just starting to think about retirement. You open a Roth IRA and begin contributing $200 a month. You also take advantage of, a, of your employer's 401k match. Over the years, you gradually increase your contributions as your income grows. Now, you diversify your investment to balance the risk and then the potential returns. By the time you reach your retirement age, you have a well-funded retirement account that will be providing you with financial freedom and peace of mind. And I'm sure you want that for yourself too. I mean, who doesn't want that? So last on my list is key principle number five, which is continuous learning and adaptation. This one is almost like an anthem for me now. I talk about continuous learning almost every time on this channel. And it is simply because it's the only way to guarantee that you're moving with the times. It applies to everything, including your financial well-being too. The financial landscape is constantly evolving and staying informed is crucial for making sound financial decisions. This means that you have to regularly update your knowledge through various sources, such as books, financial news, and even courses. Continuous learning ensures that you are equipped to adapt to a new financial trend, regulations, and opportunities. You know, maybe I will attribute this to my kind of job, but I like keeping up with the trends. Okay, so the easiest way I found to do this and improve my finances is by incorporating financial education into my daily routine. I dedicate a few minutes each day to reading financial news from reputable sources. Websites like Investopedia, they offer comprehensive articles and tutorials on a wide range of financial topics from basic budgeting to advanced investment strategies. I have also found that financial blogs often provide practical tips and real life experience that can enhance your understanding then of course i read a lot trust me one of my favorite books on investing is the intelligent investor by benjamin graham this book offers timeless advice on value investing emphasizing the importance of thorough analysis disciplined decision making and a long-term perspective honestly i think graham's principle can help you navigate the complexities of the stock market and even make more informed investment choices. In addition to books, I also follow financial experts who share practical, actionable advice. One of my favorites is Warren Buffett, of course. You might know him already. He's known for his value investing approach, offering insight into market trends and then investment strategies. And there are several others like him who you can follow. By learning from this expert, you can gain a deeper understanding of financial concepts and then apply them to your own financial journey. This may not be for everyone, but would it hurt to take an online course on financial management and investing? I really don't think you're doing too much if you decide to take a course to learn more about handling your finances. These courses can provide a structured learning experience and deepen your understanding of complex financial topics. Okay, as an immigrant of African descent, my journey into cybersecurity and building a six-figure career and coaching business has taught me the value of financial literacy. I faced numerous challenges, but with disciplined budgeting, strategic investing, and continuous learning, I managed to build a stable financial life. And the same is possible for you too. Now, here is the secret I promise that can really make a difference in your financial journey. Automation. Automating your finances can help you stay disciplined without even thinking about it. I set up automation for everything automatic transfer to my savings account, scheduling bill payment, investment, you name it. Guys, it works. And I think there's a psychology for this. Automating your finances does not just significantly increase your savings rate, it also reduces your financial stress. And except you cancel it, you can't even change your mind about what happens to your money. Everything goes where it needs to go automatically. There are also various apps you can find online to help you with this. Some even let you know ahead of time when the payment is due so that you are prepared. Long story short, the earlier you get started, the sooner you will start seeing the benefits. So guys, that's all I have for you 
in this video but if you have any other topics that you would like me to touch on especially things that impact our lives as immigrants i'm up for it leave your questions in the comment section below if you found this video helpful too give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content and hit the bell icon to stay updated thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next video